water and the other end that sticks to oil or fat. So take a look at this. This string floating on water represents a coronavirus molecule. Watch what happens when we touch the surface of the water with this bar of soap. Three, two, one. The molecule falls apart. That's why you got Look water. at that. He's been keeping families entertained on TikTok during the pandemic. With over 5 million followers. Before that, he hosted a popular children's science show on PBS and even has a show on Netflix. Now, Bill Nye has a new book coming out called Bill Nye's Great Big World of Science, and he joins us this morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm just curious, having done all these exper experiments over the years, are you just boil them, boiling them all down into this one book, or is this new stuff you haven't shown the kids before? Uh, it's some of each. Yeah, there's some classics, classic demonstrations, and some uh, some new ones. You know, what, what you do is you start with the point you want to get across, and then you come up with the demonstration or the experiment rather than the other way around. Ah. Yeah, but I it's... Uh, there's, you know, there's a lot to concern ourselves with these days. We have, yeah. I don't know if you heard about those, there's a <laughs> pandemic. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, well, I want to ask you, because I know you have an experiment, but we, we get a lot of feedback on our social media, and, and it reveals this lack of scientific literacy. And people often ask us, why don't you get an opinion from another doctor or a different doctor who says something that I want to hear? So can you explain scientific consensus, and what is it in regards to the coronavirus? That oh. should take no time at all. It should take 15 uh, seconds. Sure. Uh, sure, it's very straight. From the, the coronavirus, you guys, there have been pandemics in the past. And the one that we spent a lot of time with on the Science Guy show, on another show called The Eyes of Nye, and on the Netflix show Bill Nye Saves the World, we talked about the Spanish flu of 1918. This is where 50 million people were killed around the world, and that estimate is conservative because World War I was going on. But uh, what you don't want to do is transmit this virus from one person to another. So after watching it for several months, people realize that it's trans transmitted mostly through the air, mostly through the air. And that's why, everybody, we want you to wear a mask. Yes, it protects other people from you. It protects you from breathing in these viral particles, which make you sick. And the loss of productivity in our society when everybody's in the hospital and so on. So what we want you to do is wear a mask for six for six weeks. Everybody can just wear a mask for six weeks. We could get this thing under control, and then the people who are sick, we would have for people who are sick, we would have the resources available in hospitals, and ICUs, and uh, other systems and therapeutics to help people recover. And this gets into something my parents talked about quite a bit from time to time. Common sense is not that common. Yes, it is. Wear a mask, you guys, and we can all get through this. And I think you showed a little demonstration, or we showed it at the top of this segment, about the effect soap has on the coronavirus. So you obviously want people to wash their hands. It's amazing when you see that. Are you showing us a different experiment now, Bill? Yes, yes, sure. So uh, everybody, the book, uh, which of course they come uh, 10 in a carton, they make great gifts. The book has about 30 <laughs> experiments in it, but if you want to do one, uh, you know, we are constrained by the pandemic. But we have a nice microphone here, but we'll just move it down just yeah. a little bit. Here's uh, a uh, cardboard box on a stool. Let's get this in position. Yes, so this is a uh, classic. And if you watch, if you ask viewers of the old Science Guy show, what is a property of matter, they would tell you inertia. Inertia is a property of matter. You see how I just scratched my face? Yeah. That's why we want you to wash your hands. You're just not aware <laughs> of how often you touch your face. Put a coin on top. And so the claim is that the coin has inertia. And then when the card is removed, the coin will pretty much remain in about the same place in space because uh, it has more inertia uh, it has enough inertia to keep it there. So you click the card out of the way, the coin falls into the glass. It is not magic, people. It's science. Huh. And this understanding of inertia is how we have rockets. It's how we have uh, everything you see in the world around you. It's why we have automobiles and cars and, uh, and electronic means to make, to make uh, extraordinary telephone calls in the morning.
Did you ever think when you started doing this years ago, Bill, that this would, I mean, you're, you're a conglomerate. Everybody's a science guy now, but you were the first one. Well, I, you know, as, uh, as has been said in the past, I stood on the shoulders of giants. And by that, I mean, I, I grew up with Don Herbert, with Mr. Wizard. And also I came of age during the space program, the, the space race, rather. And so uh, I, was, I was deeply affected by the power of science to transform the world. But did you get you know, into yeah. Did you get into the entertainment through a, a Steve Martin look-alike contest, or is that yeah. web folklore? Yeah, no, that's not folklore. <laughs> no. However, the nightclub in Seattle where the event took place is burned down, so that's, oh. there's a little bit lost in antiquity there. No, so uh, just everybody appreciate that, in my opinion, which, as you know, is generally correct. <laughs> Uh, Steve, that's a, that's irony, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, my claim is that Steve Martin's first two albums were so influential. That's why we have a comedy club in every big city in the United States and Canada. Huh. Is this guy just just had this new idea, this absurdist view of the world that was really compelling? I claim that as a mechanical engineer working on 747 at Boeing in Everett, Washington, I entered this contest and I won. Huh. I did not win the national one, no. by no means. Well, this next time. Yeah. No, no, but then you get hooked on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Bill, so it's- So everybody, we have two big problems. We have the pandemic and we have climate change. And both of these problems are gonna be addressed through science. And I like to remind people that science is mentioned in the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 8. Hmm. And the Constitution, by the way, is now available in paperback. All right. Everybody has he's access. Got paperbacks to. laying there. Yeah. All that. So it's, yeah, Bill's new book is called Bill Nye's Great Big World of Science, available now on Amazon. You can also check him out on all the social media pages or on his website, BillNye.com. Bill, good to talk to Thanks, you. Thanks, Bill. Thanks very much, you guys. Good morning.